Hmm. All right, fractional exponents, you guys. And when we talk about fractional exponents, we are talking about, if you look right here, this 8 with the exponent of the 2 thirds power. This is what we are talking about. 8 with an exponent of 2 thirds power. Okay, so we're going to go over today. How do you do two things with fractional exponents? We're going to look at two of them. Number one. 8 with an exponent of the fraction 2 thirds. So what we're going to do is, is we are going to look at how do you write in radical form, in radical form, okay, that's that right there, writing in radical form. And then the second thing we're going to look at is how do you find the value? Okay. Finding the value of the fractional exponent. Okay. First one, 8 to the 2 thirds power. So here's how you put it in radical form. You draw that symbol right there, which is what is known as the radical. You take the exponent, the base, which is the 8, whatever is in the base of the exponent, and you put it inside the radical symbol. So far, so good. Then, whatever is the numerator of the exponent, which I am putting in green, that becomes the exponent for the 8. So you're inside the radical symbol. You're going to have 8 to the second power. And then the last thing you do is, is that whatever that denominator is of the exponent, which in this case is a 3, that is going to go outside the exponent. You're going to write it really small, okay? and that is going to be known as the index there. So 8 to the third, 2 thirds power in radical form is going to have an index of 3 with the radical symbol 8 to the second power. And that is all you have to do to write uh, an expression that has a fraction for an exponent in radical form. Okay, so let's do another one, 64, with an exponent of that's a fraction of one half. Okay, let's put that into radical form. Draw the radical symbol. All right, then you're going to take the base of the exponent, which in this case is a 64, and you're going to put that inside the radical symbol. Then you're going to take the numerator of the exponent, which is a 1, and that's going to become the exponent 6 to the 64. Now, if the exponent is a 1, you do not bother writing it, okay? So notice I have a 64. I did not write the 1. The 1 is there, but it is invisible. You don't write it. Then you take the denominator of the exponent, which is a 2, and you're going to put it right here as the index, okay? Now, if the index number is a 2, you do not write it. It's invisible. So if you do not see an index number of a 2, then the, or you don't see a number there, that means the index is a 2. So 64 to the 1 half power written in radical form would be the square root of 64. Remember, there is a 2 right there for the index, and there's a 1 there for the exponent. Now, how do we find the value of this? Finding the value, and I'm going to show you how to do it without a calculator. Okay, you can do it with a calculator, but we already know how to do this. So watch how we figure out what 8 to the exponent of 2 thirds power is. Okay, what we do is, is we look at the base. This is the key. We look at the base, which is an 8. We look at the denominator of the fraction exponent which is a three and you say to yourself can i rewrite eight as some number to the third power so in other words is some smaller number than eight like one or two or three or four 
to the third power the same thing as 8? And the answer is yes. 2 to the third power is 8. Notice 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Okay. And the reason why I wanted it to the third power is because that denominator is a 3. So what I do is I rewrite 8 to the 2 thirds power as quantity, that means I have parentheses, 2 to the third power, to the 2 thirds power. So essentially what I have done here is I have said that base of 8, which I'm putting in blue, is the exact same thing as 2 to the third power in parentheses. I've just replaced 8 with 2 to the third power. Now what I do is I simplify this. I'm going to take 2, and then I'm going to multiply the exponent of 3 with the exponent of 2 thirds. The rule is, if you recall, when you have an exponent like a 3 raised to another exponent like 2 thirds, you multiply them together. And you simplify this. This would become 2. 3 times 2 thirds is 6 over 3. 6 over 3 reduces to 2, so this is 2 to the second power, and that is equal to 4. So 8 to the 2 thirds power has a value equal to 4. Okay, let's do the next one. Six, finding the value of 64 to the 1 half power. Okay, so I have, whoops, so I have 64. And then I have the exponent of 1 over 2. Okay, so notice the denominator of the exponent is a 2. So what I say to myself is, is can I rewrite 64 as some smaller number to the second power? Okay, so is, and the answer is yes, it is 8. 8 to the second power is 64. 8 times 8 is 64. So instead of 64 to the 1 half power, we have 8 to the second to the 1 half power. I just replaced the 64 with 8 to the second. Now, why did I choose second power? Once again, because the denominator of the exponent was a 2. And then I simplify this out. To simplify it, I'm going to multiply the two exponents with each other. So in other words, 2 times 1 half. And I have a base of 8, so that would become 8 with an exponent of 2 over 2. 2 times 1 over 2 is 2 over 2, which is 8 to the first power, which is equal to 8. So I just took 64 to the 1 half power, and the value of it is equal to 8. There is how you simplify, find the value of a fractional exponent without using a calculator, and also how you write that fractional exponent as in radical form.